Hello everyone and thanks for watching Aerupedia World Videos. In today's session we'll continue with the calculation and the preparation of fund flow statement. So for this we'll use this question which is given here we have been provided with a balance sheet and uh, on the basis of this balance sheet we'll have to prepare the working capital statement change in working capital statement and statement of source and the application of fund or you can call it fund flow statement also so we'll start with the format of a change of working capital statement so here we'll write particulars we have been provided two years so really we can mention that and here we'll mention okay change in working capital here you write it might increase might decrease as we have done in the previous video So we'll start with the current assets. In the current assets we have cash in hand. The amount in 2002 was 4,000 rupees, then 9,000 rupees. So there was an increase in asset that means there is increase in working capital. So this is increase. And next we come to debtors. Debtors the amount was 16,500 for 2002 and 19,500 for 2003. Again we can see the current asset has increased that means there is increase in working capital we have stock stock is again a current asset so stock was 9000 and then 7000 that means there is a decrease in working capital because the current asset has decreased so machinery and building they are all fixed assets so we'll not use them now we come to current liabilities this is a very easy question we are dealing here and uh, this is just to show the students and help the students to uh, attain the basic knowledge how to prepare it then we can uh, go further for uh, the difficult questions Okay, before that we'll just take total of current asset. So sum of above three. We can just mark them. Now we come to current liabilities. Better make it bold. Oh. 
in current liabilities we have creditors so the amount was 9000 and 5000 respectively for the two years so the current liability has decreased that means there is increase in working capital so we are almost done here we'll just take the total total would remain same for in this case so just is it? Yeah. Now we'll calculate the working capital. Working capital that is A minus B. So and just subtract B from A. So you can see the increase or decrease increase in working capital. You can uh, change in working capital so we have to balance this so just this is the increase and the uh, and just total them just sum the total increase then the total decrease and uh, we have to balance this so add 10,000 and change now this whole is balanced now now we'll start with the preparation of a fund flow statement so First of all, we'll write the fund flow statement. Okay, I will prepare the format. So, in fund flow statement, we have two columns that one is for sources of fund, and uh, the amount for it. The next one would be the application of fund. And uh, there is a column for amount, same. Okay. Now, under sources, we have in our balance sheet capital capital amount was 80,000 in 2002 and 85,000 in 2003 so there has been increase in capital that means there has been issue of shares 
Now, whenever there is issue of share, that generate funds for the company. So the amount here would be the increase in capital. Next, we have on our liability side is term loan which has increased from 0 to 5,000. So the amount would be 5,000. Now the one thing which is common in every uh, fund flow statement that is the fund from operation whenever there is an operation uh, it generates cash and that cash can be used by the company and that amount that fund can be used by the company to finance it its future needs so the fund from operation is another element of uh, sources of fund So the fund from operation here would be the difference between the amount given in the profit and loss account uh, as the fund from operation has not been mentioned and neither uh, the profit and loss account was given uh, so that uh, uh, we can calculate the fund from operation here the profit and loss uh, account is given in the liability side in the balance sheet so we'll just take the difference and that amount will be our fund from operation so now we'll take the sum of it the total amount of source we are available with now the application part is our asset part the balance sheet so we'll check uh, first of all we have machinery uh, these all are current assets so we have already accounted uh, them in uh, change in working capital so we'll use the change in working capital uh, for all of the current assets together the current liabilities too so we don't need to incorporate that so uh, we have machineries machinery there has been increase in machinery that means there has been purchase of machinery and uh, every purchase can be called as application of funds so the difference is accounted here and there has been increase in working capital so that amount too is the part of application so the increase in working capital was 10,000 again we'll sum the amount now we can see the balance on the both side is 20,000 so that means our fund flow statement is balanced and it is correct but this is how we prepare uh, fund flow statement with the help of uh, a balance sheet like if we are provided with a balance sheet uh, we can prepare the statement for change in working capital and fund flow statement and for preparation of uh, all three like uh, change in working capital statement fund from operation statement and uh, uh, fund flow statement we need both balance sheet and profit and loss account so this is what we have here and uh, hope this video helps you understand how to prepare fund flow statement uh, thank you for watching this video